Okay, so I'm first starting off with just a regular bowl. I have three bottles of dye. I use a door dye and I have two bottles of Royal Navy and one bottle of Indigo Blue. Then I use boiling hot water and I just filled it up. I don't know, that's like a quarter, I guess. Then I took some of the Royal Navy and I just put some dye in there. Then I mixed it up. Please don't use boiling hot water, guys. I actually burned myself. I had to put some cold water in it. So then I had like an extra um track left and then I just wanted to um try it. So I kind of like tested it out with the track to see if it was like the color I was going for and it was. So that's what I did. And uh, then basically I just proceeded to dye, I mean just put the whole wig in it. So once i was doing that i was kind of going back and forth between the royal navy and the indigo blue because the royal navy is like a dark blue but the indigo kind of gives it a little shock and it also gives it that little purple undertone and basically i'm just playing around i'm not playing around i'm just kind of like um just mixing like i'm mixing up the wig in the um in the water almost kind of like you're washing clothes like hand washing clothes in a sense and i'm also putting the dye directly on the frontal because for some reason the frontal was kind of taking um longer to like um get the dye and a tip when doing the watercolor method is to always um look through the bundles because the dye may have not went through the bundles i just proceeded to dye i mean just put the whole wig in it so once I was doing that, I was kind of going back and forth between the Royal Navy and the Indigo Blue because the Royal Navy is like a dark blue, but the Indigo kind of gives it a little shock and it also gives it that little purple undertone. And basically, I'm just playing around. I'm not playing around. I'm just kind of like um, just mixing. Like, I'm mixing up the wig in the, um, in the water, almost kind of like you're washing clothes like hand washing clothes in a sense and i'm also putting the dye directly on the frontal because for some reason the frontal was kind of taking um longer to like um get the dye and a tip when doing the watercolor method is to always um look through the bundles because the dye may have not went through the bundles so then after that um i kind of just let the hair sit there i kind of just repeated the process and I let the hair sit in the dye for about five minutes. Five, ten minutes, and then this is the end result. It's like really quick, super, 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 duper, duper, duper easy. I really liked it. If you do this with 613 hair, um, the the lace on the frontal should not have stained because it didn't stain for me if it's regular lace it will stain so i don't know about doing the watercolor method on one b hair but i will link everything down in the bio and thank you guys for watching this video this is how it came out if you guys want to see an installation on how i did it then like comment and thank you guys for watching this video yeah.